you are watching my perfect doggy. Our goal is to give our viewers our best information about every dog breed. Ever wonder what it would be like to own a certain dog? Subscribe to my perfect doggy and you won't have to wonder. Hey there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to talk about one of the lesser known, but equally awesome hunting breeds out there the Boykin Spaniel. These little pups may be small, but they pack a big punch when it comes to hunting and retrieving. They were originally bred in South Carolina to hunt wild turkey and ducks, but their versatility and trainability have made them a favorite for hunting all kinds of game. But it's not just their hunting skills that make them great. Boykins are also known for their friendly and outgoing personalities, making them great family pets as well. In fact, the breed is so beloved in South Carolina, that it's considered the state dog. So if you're a hunting enthusiast, or just looking for a lovable and energetic companion, the Boykin Spaniel might just be the perfect breed for you. Stick around, and we'll give you a closer look at these amazing dogs, their history, and what makes them so special. And we will be answering the most popular questions about this breed. Before we start we would like to take a second to express our thanks to all the Boykin owners. This video would not have been possible without them, so don't forget to check out their Instagram profiles and send some love. All of their links are in the description below. Here are the top 10 facts of the Boykin Spaniel. 10. Great Family Pets So one of the best things about Boykins is their personalities. They're known for being friendly and outgoing, which makes them great family pets. They love being around people and thrive on human interaction. They're also great with kids, which makes them a great choice for families with children. One thing that's really cool about Boykins is that they're not just hunting dogs, they're also therapy dogs. They're naturally gentle and calm, which makes them perfect for visiting hospitals and nursing homes. They're able to provide comfort and companionship to people who need it most. Also, Boykins love to please their owners, they are highly trainable, which makes them easy to teach new tricks and commands. They're smart dogs, and they'll pick up on things quickly. This makes them a great choice for people who want to compete in obedience and agility trials. So as you can see, Boykins are not just a hunting breed, they are also great family companions, therapy dogs, and highly trainable. They are a breed that can fill many different roles and bring joy to many different people. They are truly a special breed. 9. Breed originated in South Carolina. The Boykin Spaniel is a breed of dog that originated in South Carolina. They were first bred in the early 1900s by hunters who needed a small, sturdy dog that could handle the tough conditions of the swamps and marshes of the area. The breed was developed by crossing various Spaniel breeds, such as the American Cocker Spaniel, the English Springer Spaniel, and the Welsh Springer Spaniel with the Chesapeake Bay Retriever and later on with the American Water Spaniel. What's really interesting is that the breed was originally called the Little Brown Dog due to their characteristic brown color. They were later named Boykin Spaniel in honor of the man, Alexander White Boykin, who did a lot to promote the breed. This breed is only one of two United States made breeds named for the family responsible for their creation. Boykins are known for their strong hunting instincts, and their small size makes them perfect for getting into tight spaces and flushing out game. They're also known for their excellent retrieving skills. So, if you're looking for a hunting dog that's small but mighty, the Boykin Spaniel might just be the perfect breed for you. They are a unique breed that was developed for a specific purpose, and they excel at it. Time for a quick quiz. Do Boykin Spaniel have a tendency to nip or play bite? A. Yes, they have a higher tendency. B. No, they have a lower tendency than most dog breeds. 
Have a guess now. We will be giving out the answer later in this video. 8. Built for water. These dogs are built for water. Their webbed feet give them an extra advantage in the water, making them great swimmers. They are able to swim for long distances, and they are able to navigate through rough and murky waters with ease. When they are hunting, they are able to work the edges of the water, and they are able to get into tight spaces where other dogs might struggle. They are able to flush out game, and then retrieve it. They are able to do all of this while keeping their footing and staying upright in the water, which is pretty impressive. Another cool thing is that boykins have a water-resistant coat, which helps them stay warm and dry in the water. Their coat is thick enough to protect them from the cold, but not so thick that it weighs them down. This makes them perfect for hunting in all types of weather, whether it's hot or cold, sunny or rainy. 7. Low to moderate shedding breed. Boykin spaniels have a medium length coat that is usually liver or brown in color, and they do shed, but not as much as some other breeds. They have a thick, wavy coat that sheds seasonally, which means they will shed more heavily at certain times of the year. They do require regular grooming to keep their coat in good condition, but they don't need to be groomed as frequently as some other breeds. Brushing them once or twice a week with a slicker brush will help to remove loose hair and prevent matting. It's worth noting that if you have allergies or are sensitive to pet hair, a Boykin Spaniel may not be the best choice for you, as they do shed and produce dander, like all animals. However, they are not considered a high shedding breed and regular grooming will help to minimize shedding. 6. Highly trainable. Boykin Spaniels are considered to be highly trainable and eager to please their owners, which makes them relatively easy to train. They are intelligent dogs that pick up on new commands and tricks quickly. They are also very eager to learn and they enjoy the process of training. Due to their strong hunting instincts, they are naturally inclined to retrieve and are easy to train in retrieving tasks. They have a strong desire to please their owners, which makes them more responsive to training commands. It's worth noting that like all dogs, Boykins will respond best to positive reinforcement training methods, such as treats and praise, rather than punishment-based methods. They respond well to consistency and clear communication, so training should be done consistently with positive reinforcement to get the best results. 5. Friendly and Outgoing Personalities Boykin Spaniels are known for their friendly and outgoing personalities. They are highly sociable dogs that love being around people and thrive on human interaction. They are affectionate and loving, and they make great companion dogs. They are known for their playful and energetic nature, and they enjoy being active and going for walks and runs. They are also known for being loyal and protective of their owners and their families, making them great watchdogs. 4. Strong, Athletic Build Boykin Spaniels are a small to medium-sized breed of dog that typically weigh between 25 to 40 pounds and reach a height of 15 to 18 inches at the shoulder. They have a strong, athletic build with a characteristic curly tail and a medium-length coat that is usually liver or brown in color. In terms of appearance, Boykins are often compared to other Spaniel breeds such as the American Cocker Spaniel and the English Springer Spaniel. They share similar physical characteristics with these breeds, such as their medium-length coat and their characteristic Spaniel ears. However, Boykins are generally considered to be a bit stockier and more athletic than these breeds, with a stronger build and a more rugged appearance. Another breed that Boykins are sometimes compared to is the Chesapeake Bay Retriever, due to their water-resistant coat and webbed feet. However, Boykins are generally smaller in size and have a more compact build than Chesapeake Bay Retrievers. 
3. Most popular in southeastern United States. Boykin Spaniels are considered a relatively rare breed, and they are not as well known or as popular as some other hunting breeds. They are more popular in certain regions, especially in the southeastern United States, where hunting is more prevalent, and they are gaining popularity as family pets. In 2021 the American Kennel Club ranked them as the 90th most popular breed in the United States. They have a dedicated following among their owners. Back to the quiz. If you guessed A pat yourself on the back. You are correct. Boykin Spaniel have a higher than average tendency to nip, chew, play bite. It's a common habit during puppyhood, it's not aggressive behavior. These bites don't hurt, but Boykin Spaniel dogs need to be taught not to do this behavior. 2. Intelligent dogs. Boykin Spaniels are considered to be intelligent dogs, with a strong desire to please their owners and a quick ability to learn new commands and tricks. It's also worth mentioning that different breeds have been developed for different tasks and purposes, so it's not always a fair comparison to judge the intelligence of one breed against another. For example, a breed that has been bred for hunting will have different cognitive abilities than a breed that has been bred for herding or guarding. Boykin Spaniels excel in trainability, making them highly intelligent in that aspect. 1. Considered to be a healthy breed. Like all breeds, Boykin Spaniels are prone to certain health issues. Some of the most common health concerns in Boykins include hip dysplasia, a genetic condition where the hip joint is malformed, causing arthritis and pain in the hip joint. Ear infections, Boykins have long, floppy ears which can trap moisture and lead to infections if not properly cleaned and dried. Progressive retinal atrophy a genetic disorder that causes degeneration of the retina and can lead to blindness. An exercise-induced collapse, a genetic disorder that affects the muscles and causes muscle weakness and collapse after intense exercise. Responsible breeding practices and regular veterinary checkups can help to minimize the risk of these health issues. I hope our list of the top 10 intriguing facts about the Boykin Spaniels was helpful. Along with our top 10, I'll attempt to address popular queries about this breed. What is the difference between a Cocker Spaniel and a Boykin Spaniel? Boykin Spaniel and Cocker Spaniel are two different breeds of dogs that share some similarities but also have some distinct differences. Boykin Spaniels are generally larger than Cocker Spaniels. Boykins typically weigh between 25 to 40 pounds and reach a height of 15 to 18 inches at the shoulder, while Cocker Spaniels typically weigh between 20 to 30 pounds and reach a height of 14 to 15 inches at the shoulder. Both breeds are highly trainable and have friendly and outgoing personalities, but Boykins are known for their strong hunting instincts and retrieving skills while Cocker Spaniels are known for their agility and trainability in obedience and agility trials. At what age do Boykin Spaniels calm down? Boykin Spaniels are known for being energetic and playful, especially when they are young. As they mature, they tend to calm down and become more laid back. However, the age at which a Boykin Spaniel will calm down can vary depending on the individual dog. Most Boykins will start to calm down around the age of 1 to 2 years old, but some may take longer to reach maturity and may continue to have high energy levels up to 3 to 4 years old. However, it's important to note that the breed has a strong hunting instinct and it may never fully calm down, they will always have a certain level of energy. Regular exercise, training, and consistent boundaries and rules can help to channel a young Boykin's energy in a positive way and prepare them for a more relaxed adult phase. Can a Boykin Spaniel be left alone? It is not recommended to leave a Boykin Spaniel alone for extended periods of time, as they are prone to developing separation anxiety and destructive behaviors such as excessive barking, digging, and chewing. 
If you have to leave your boykin alone for long periods of time, it's important to prepare them for this by gradually increasing the time you're away, providing them with plenty of toys, and making sure they have plenty of exercise before you leave. If you are considering getting a boykin spaniel, it's important to consider your lifestyle and how much time you're willing and able to spend with your dog. If you work long hours or are away from home frequently, a boykin spaniel may not be the best choice for you. You made it. Thank you for staying around with us till the end. If you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And make sure to check out our other videos. Maybe we will help you find your perfect doggy. See you in the next video.